In this video, we're gonna be discussing whether you should be training carbon plated running shoes. What's up guys and welcome back to the channel. How are we all doing? Let me know in the comments. And while you are down there, let me know, do you train in carbon plated running shoes? I'm very interested in this subject. Now this is not a video about me telling you what you should be doing, whether you should be training them or not. This is a video uh, to start a discussion, to start a conversation, and hopefully that takes place down in the comments. Uh, I'm gonna give you my view. You may not agree with it, you may disagree with it, uh, but I've been doing some thinking. I've actually been doing some testing on this as well. So let's get stuck in. Okay, so let's start off with what actually are carbon plated running shoes. Um, and we'll start off with the endorphin pro because it's here. Uh, actually, I'll tell you what, it's probably better. I'll show you the uh, alpha fly in a minute. But basically what they're doing uh, for elite athletes, they've created uh, stiff running shoes that are ultra lightweight, that have got a carbon plate running through them to create a basically loaded spring in the shoe. The guys get up on their toes and there's the impact, the carbon plate, when worked properly, gives them that extra propulsion over a certain distance. Um, as I said, the shoes are designed to be ultra lightweight racing shoes uh, with that carbon plate in it. That's the sort of idea and the technology behind it. Obviously different manufacturers have looked at it and worked it differently. Um, if you look at the ASICS Meta Racer, the carbon plate is bottom loaded and more front loaded, so it's more on the toes. Uh, um, the Endorphin Pro has a S-shaped carbon plate going through it. It's more like a spoon, so it's actually tweaked again in a way to sort of help you in the way they view that um, you should run in it. Um, but all these shoes are lightweight. I'll grab the Alpha Fly. Let's just grab this one because you can actually see the plate in it. Um, these are my brand new Alpha Flies, and there's a plate under there. Um, you can actually see it, and the carbon plate runs through the shoe on this one. Uh, but they've combined it with a um, AirPod at the front and a very high uh, responsive foam in the Zoom X with the carbon plate. And that shoe is designed for marathons um, and elite races and that sort of stuff. So <laughs> that's kind of what they are. And if you look at how stiff, and I'm really trying to give that some welly versus a normal running shoe, see? And I'm not really giving that much effort at all. I try and do that with that, I can't. See how stiff that is? So that's hopefully demonstrates the difference. So that's really what carbon plated running shoes are. So the question I've been thinking about is, should I be training for my next marathon in carbon plated running shoes or even plated running shoes? Uh, and the reason I say uh, plated running shoes is because the stock in his speed has got a TPU plate in it, um, which is like a nylon uh, plate in it instead of a carbon plate, which is still, but it's still plated. So it's still there to give you that sort of spring um, load effect. And just looking at the stiffness and that, see it's still very stiff, right? that combined with the speed roll technology as you roll through, it helps you drive on. Um, so yeah, so I started thinking about should I be training in um, carbon plated running shoes or, or, or plated running shoes? Um, and I was like researching it and, and some of the stuff I've seen is negative and some of the stuff I've seen is positive. Uh, the negative stuff is like, um, you know, you're gonna risk injury, you're gonna be uh, pulling on your Achilles because you're running in a stiff shoe. Uh, what was the other stuff? I wrote some of it down. They're too aggressive, um, can cause shin splints, uh, all that sort of stuff, basically because of the way the shoe's formed and they're, and they're made for races. Um, some of the positives um, are, uh, what does it say? Uh, recovery benefits, uh, working at higher paces. So obviously you're working at higher paces, you're, uh, increasing your fitness and stamina, all that sort of stuff. Um, so there is a kind of a, a, a sort of balanced argument about what's best and what's not to do. I think, and this is my view on it, and as I said at the start, I'd be really interested to know uh, and get into it with you down in the comments. My view is the following. I think personally, carbon plated shoes or plated shoes are, are best designed for those A races or A or races. You, you almost want to have that extra couple of percent difference on your feet on race day. And I think that's the way I'm looking. I do feel like if I'm training in them, I'm kind of artificially going faster, is what I'm thinking. Now I did a couple of runs, uh, actually more than a couple of runs, I've done quite a few runs comparing the two and I've done the same routes um, and I've done the same paces on, on the routes and I'll put some stuff up. 
Uh, and there's not much difference. The only, the only thing I would say, it does look like I'm working slightly harder on the sort of daily trainer um, run, which was in my Socony Rye 13s, by the way. I used the Socony Rye 13s and I used the Socony Endorphin Shift, right? That was my, uh, uh, what I was comparing. And again, you could argue that that's not carbon plate, but it's still a plated shoe. And that is, is the shoe that I'm referring to in terms of whether I should train as a daily trainer in it. Um, but I do feel like, the, the carbon plating and the plated shoes probably have a place if you are lucky enough to have a pair, but if you're doing sort of speed work, um, so let's say you're doing an interval session or maybe you're, you know, doing a, a really high intensity, uh, uh, I don't know, some form of speed session. I'm not sure uh, what one you would be doing, but something like, I don't know, it's just something where you're working at that max velocity. That's probably the best way to describe it. So you would get the most benefit and you would get the most help from the shoes. Um, I think that's where they fit in for me, but I just, I mean, why would you wear them on a long run apart from to break them in if you've got a new pair? But I don't know. I just, you, I just feel like I need them for race day to give me that sort of extra percent. And, and I almost want to use sort of normal shoes like a glide ride or, or a, a socketed ride 13 for my daily runs. So I'm not getting that artificial gain. I'm working true to myself i'm working in line with you know with what my body's doing you know some days you feel worse some days you feel better but i'm actually working harder than necessarily i would do with uh with a plated shoe which is obviously aiding me to go faster i don't know that's that, that's the kind of thinking so i I'm, I'm going down the line of no you shouldn't be training in them um unless they're for those speed sessions and definitely not for those long runs i think that, that you know there's until you get really into sort of more race tuning up towards the end of your uh, training plan um it doesn't really it doesn't really warrant wearing them the counter argument to all this right, is if you are not in a training plan if you are just doing part run 10ks half marathons whatever and you don't really care about training plans and you're not doing going down that route then yeah then probably there is a good argument to just go out and wear a pair of vapor flies and do a 10k locally because it makes you feel like a hero and you want to feel awesome when you're out there and it's going to help you run faster. And I get that. And I see people running in vapor flies and I see people running in alpha flies and other carbon plate shoes on what look like daily uh, runnings, uh, runs that they're doing. Um, so if you're, if you're not kind of you know, training for anything, so to speak, you're just running because you want to run and you enjoy running, then that's probably where it's warranted, I think, uh, in my view. Um, yeah, so there's, that's my argument, uh, uh, is if you're training for something, marathon, half marathon, whatever, part run, whatever, I don't necessarily think it's a good idea. I think that the, the sort of downside outweighs the upside if you're training. But I think if you're just running for the hell of it because you enjoy it and it's your thing to do, then treat yourself and get a pair of carbon plated shoes. Yeah, I think that's where I'm settled on it at the moment. Let me know, like I said about 3,000 times now, let me know in the comments. I, I'm, I'm still not 100% convinced on this and that's why I wanted to start this conversation. I think it is something that will develop. People will get opinions on this because there's so many carbon plated shoes coming out and plated shoes coming out. New updated versions of all these shoes are going to be hitting the market and people are looking at them going, oh, if I get them, I'm going to run faster. And ultimately, we all want to run faster, um, whether that's right or wrong. But, you know, we all do deep down want to be able to go, even if it's 30 seconds faster than we did our last run. Um, that's just human nature. So, yeah, I think uh, it's definitely an interesting point. And, 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 I, and I'd love to speak to somebody who actually knew like about these sort of things. So if you're somebody who actually really knows about this sort of stuff, whether you're like a doctor of carbon plate shoes or I don't know, you're some sort of sports physicist, physio who looks at all this sort of stuff, then get in touch because I'd be really interested to know your opinion. But that's it. So there you go. Started a discussion, started an argument. Can't wait to get into the comments once this video drops. Um, yeah, I'll see you down in the comments.